we will now specify the material properties which you can think of specifying the constants and the governing equations. So if I go back to the governing equations, when I drag static structural into the project page um, and I gave it you know, volumes with geometry, it turned on, it knows that it needs to solve the 3D equations of equilibrium. So these are turned on now. Um, and the body forces are turned off by default. So there's nothing to specify here, no constants appearing here. If I go to the constitutive model, I have E, nu, and alpha as the three constants that I need to specify. So we'll specify that in material properties. And alpha, this term has not been turned on, this thermal strain and the preload, the bolt preload have not been turned on. We'll turn those on um, late, a little bit later, but we can specify alpha before that. And in the strain displacement relations, there are no constants appearing. So we need to specify E, nu, and alpha. Let's do that. I'll go to the project page here and double click on engineering data I'll add a new material and I'll say 300 series stainless steel under linear elastic so I have isotropic elasticity um, I need to change the units to um, US engineering it's not change the unit here, so I, I need to also do that manually. Um, so I'll change it to PSI, and it is 2.9 e to the power of 7 PSI, and Poisson's ratio is 0.27. And here I have thermal strain, so I will draw, drop in isotropic secant coefficient of thermal expansion. Ignore isotropic secant and think of this for now as a coefficient of thermal expansion. And this is per Fahrenheit and that value is 1 e to the power of minus 5 and these values are given in the uh, problem statement. And the reference temperature, it asks for reference temperature so I'll give it room temperature 70 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not going to, you know, we are giving const, uh, we are making the material properties to be not dependent on temperature, so the reference temperature won't, shouldn't affect my solution here. So the only thing that matters are these three values. And that's the material for the, the, the nozzle, the mid and the, the lower nozzle, and then we have another material for the bolt, and I can just duplicate this double click on it to rename it so that's a286 steel and if I highlight that the coefficient of thermal expansion is slightly different it's 9.5 e to the power of minus 6 and the Young's modulus is the same the Poisson's ratio is also slightly different Okay, and you can double check that the values you have entered for these two materials are the same as um, in the problem statement. Then I come back to project and I say refresh. So that will give me access to those material properties. And then if I go back to ANSYS mechanical, I need to make sure that I assign the right materials. So mid nozzle, I will change to 300 series steel. The lower nozzle, similarly. The bolt um, is 8286, and the nut is 8286 steel. And now the, um, the tool knows what are the constants in the governing equations and the additional equations that come with it.